Luca. Um, first of all, congratulations on the win. But the anniversary of Kobe's death today, and to be able to perform like that when the NBA is um, celebrating his life, like how special is that? It's amazing, man. It's very special. You know, uh, you know, we all love, love Kobe, man. It's a, it was a big tragedy. Can't believe it's all, it's been four years already. So it's special, you know, to feel on the same day. Uh, but obviously, I wish he was here. When, when you're hot like that, is, is it one of those things where, like, um, Coach Jason Kidd, like, kind of go away from the game plan? Not purposely, but just because everything's flowing like it is, whether you're scoring or passing. I mean, I think it's hard, uh, but you know, uh, we're trying to win the game. Uh, they were doubling me the whole time in this fourth quarter. I think so. You know, uh, sometimes you just gotta make the right play and uh, have trust in your teammates. When you got it going like that, what's going on? Anything special going on in your head at that time? I mean, not really. Uh, just excited, you know. Uh, just excited. It's not really going on, but just you know, uh, sometimes you just can't believe it. That first half, you know, with the quarters and points. I mean, you know, that sometimes that amazes you that you got that many points at that particular time of the game. Well, I think that was the record for me, so uh, it was special for sure. You know, uh, but like I say, you know, we we're trying to win the game, so uh, that was great. Was there a point, uh, I don't know, whether it was during warm-ups or halfway through the first quarter or a stretch of shots where you just where you realized that this could be a special night? I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe after I had 41 in the first, maybe then, but, you know, you never really know. You know, sometimes you feel great, sometimes you don't. Because today, you know, in my warm-ups, I missed a lot of shots. So you never know. And how, how were teammates reacting towards you, like, during timeouts? Did you sense that they were any different, uh, maybe I mean, not wanting to jinx anything? No, I mean, but they were amazing, man. Uh, they were amazing to, throughout the whole game, and especially at the end, you know, in the locker room. So that, that means a lot to me. That, they're really special for me. Luca, you're now on the Mount Rushmore. Uh, most points scored in a single game joining Wilt, Kobe, and David Thompson. Is this something that you will set in later or you saw on to the next and thinking about the next game? I mean... We have less than 24 hours till the next game, so <laughs> I gotta recover, man. Uh, but no, those names are special, man. It's it's unbelievable, uh, you know. Uh, it just feels special to be in that conversation with those those names. J Jason Jason talked about you know just how you're you know even in, deep into the fourth quarter you're passing. Obviously, they're sending hard doubles at you. Um, you know what what did how different was the game when they were literally doubling you in the backcourt? And, you know, like, how do you adjust to that? I mean, just when the double passed the ball, you know, we had, uh, we tried to put him in the corner uh, because we all know when he gets in the corner, it's, he's going to make nine out of ten. Uh, but just play out of it to take the paint and then get a, get a great shot. And then uh, what happened when you, uh, you could, like, it could have been 75 tonight. You called for an alley-oop, I think, at one point? No, no. Quarter. I was there. If I was running, that would be different. <laughs> I don't know, Josh. Josh let you call for it. Oh, that was, yeah. No, no, I can't. I was standing, so I couldn't jump. <laughs> Look at well, the, I think you made up for it. The, the game ceiling three, uh, you made a pass to Dante. You could have taken that shot yourself, but instead you made the right pass and he hit the shot and basically ended the game. I was in Ljubljana recently and I actually played on your court. It was great mm -hmm. playing with some uh, Slovenian guys. And what I really noticed, though, was even a pickup ball, these guys are passing the ball a lot. How much was it emphasized to you when you were growing up with obvious significant individual talent to still be the good teammate and make the right pass at the right time? Yeah, it was big. Uh, you know, I remember playing that court uh, every afternoon after school. Uh, it didn't look that nice before, uh, but it was sometimes it didn't allow me to play because I was like 11, 10, uh, but they were like uh, 20 plus. So sometimes they didn't allow me to play. Uh, but just out of day, you know, they were physical. Uh, you know, you learn the game like that. So, Luke, oh, well, just just you're talking about it as well before the game. You, you didn't know if it was going on, but you lost a bet to uh, your fellow Balkan friend, Bogdan Bogdanovic. You missed that half court shot and had to hit the five push ups. Was that something maybe that got you going playing against someone from that same area you're from? 
uh, I mean, it's always special to play guys that you know, uh, especially Bogdan. We have great relationship. Uh, but no, the pushes were with the coaches. We bet on something else, but I lost, yeah. So, Luca, of course, you were drafted by the Hawks. In the third quarter, maybe the fourth, the fans started cheering. It's, you know, when you saw the 60 and the 70. How did it feel to hear the cheers from the Atlanta crowd? Oh, it was great, man. Uh, you know, I could have been here. Uh, uh, but I think it did benefit for the both sides. Uh, I actually saw one fan wearing Atlanta jersey with 77, so I was laughing. So, Luca, <laughs> it was good. I mean, I think it's a big deal, but, you know, uh, there's always going to be trades uh, in conversation when you come back to one place that could have you. You know, you always have maybe some more special thing to it. Uh, so maybe it was more special, yeah. Devin Booker scored 62 points tonight, and then you see what Embiid and um, Cat did on Monday night. Can you just speak about the NBA and where it is right now? I mean, it's you have some amazing players, man. There's so much talent in the NBA. Uh, I don't think you have ever been this much talent. I don't know because I didn't watch NBA before, but obviously you have great names. Uh, but you have so much talent in, in, in the game that it's just insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a great time. That was a great time. Look at Josh Thank Green you. said he, oh. he missed it because he was talking to radio about what happened in the locker room after the game. What was the celebration like? Oh, it was water. And then Tim threw the ice up at me, so I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.